<laughs> anything I leave behind will be taken care of. So we've got that rolling. The next thing we're going to get going is our ribeye. I'm going to make a little, just a little mirepoix. I always like to, when I roast things, I always kind of try and make a little bed of something, no matter what it is. Now what's a mirepoix? Mirepoix, carrots, celery, onion, basic. Um, but I also, when I roast a chicken, I'll um, put a little bit of potato, uh, but anything in the bottom, because all that juice drips down on those things, and it makes it, it makes it so good, makes it so yummy. The fat. I'm just going to sanitize my hands really quickly. So we're going to set up a little mirepoix in the bottom. Try and gauge the size of my vegetables upon how long I figure things are going to be in the oven. As I said, I'm going to take this ribeye and cut it down. So I would think these, this is probably going to be, how do you like your beef? Oh, medium rare. Medium rare. So probably 20 20 minutes, 25 minutes. So we've got our celery already done up. Some carrots. Gonna ah, take an onion. This is where we're gonna get the onion. Get what? I was wondering where you were gonna use the onion. Oh yeah. Yeah, just chunks, yeah. I love to watch it dice them. That's yeah. That's the exciting the the real exciting part of cooking. It is. Okay, so we've got our little bed of mirepoix. I'm gonna take this baby. I'm gonna cut it down the center until we get to the bone and then we'll see which way we're gonna go with it. Now, open it up. Like yep, yeah. and then once we get down to the bone, we'll just trim it off one side. Mm, your dog would love that. Yeah, you have to cook the bone too. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of flavor. Yeah. The dog's been hanging about the kitchen, <laughs> getting hopeful. There we go. Looks good, huh? Yeah. Wow. Fabulous. So you gotta roast that. We're gonna roast that, yes sir. Just a little sanitizing solution. Yeah. Clean everything up. Season these. Pepper. Did you put any, you don't put garlic powder or any onion powder or anything else on it? No. Well, oh, well, wait. You're jumping the gun there, Bob. Yeah, right don't you worry. This, not every recipe calls for garlic, all right? <laughs> you know, it does. I found John had some uh, little Knob Creek bourbon. Whoa. A little, a little splash of bourbon. You don't think it needs a little Ooh. bit more? <laughs> we have to save some for drinking. <laughs> little Vermont maple syrup. I never would have thought that. Oh. Uh, I, know, I wouldn't have either. Okay. This is going to go in the oven for about 20, uh, 25 to 30 minutes. Like, once again, 400 degree oven. So we're going to pop this in. Okay, so we've got our potatoes in the oven. We've got our ribeye with our mirepoix. We're gonna make a little salad to go along with it. As Suzanne just mentioned, she said it looks like a little Waldorf salad without the chicken, which is basically what we're gonna put together. I've got some gourmet mescaline greens right here. I was gonna toast up some walnuts. Is this the, the side that has trouble lighting? Yeah. 
So we're gonna go. There we go. Medium high. Got some nice whole walnuts I found. I'm gonna toast these up. The toasting up, that brings out the flavor in the Just brings out the foil, it brings a little bit of the oil to the surface, brings a brings um brings the oil to the surface, just gives it a nice kind of a smoky, nutty, nutty flavor to it. Gonna dice up a pear. Using a serrated knife I like. You can make a little bit straighter cut. This is the one time when I'm, I do go over the fruit um, just to keep it all lined up. But if you, obviously I go back to my normal status. Keep those moving. <laughs> no, you can't eat any of this until later on tonight. You know. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to toss these with a little bit of lemon juice just to keep them from browning. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, if you were making this for consumption right now, you wouldn't have to worry about that. But I know you guys are probably going to have this later on. So I just want to make sure it stays nice and fresh. So a little bit of lemon juice. That's all right. We'll get it. Okay, great. Toss this with a little bit of lemon juice. I'm actually going to transfer to a little bit bigger bowl. If I'm going to be able to fit everything in there. There we go. So we got our greens in there. And once again, make it your own. You know, you don't have a pear. You got an apple. You got a pineapple. I don't, you know, peach. anything. You got a peach. Yeah, we used peaches last time. I never thought about a peach in a salad. Yeah, they, she had um, the last the last shot we did show we did. She had just gotten it was peach season. And she had just picked up some fresh or the end of peach season. She had just picked up some fresh peaches. And then we're just gonna make a simple uh, little vinaigrette, little light olive oil. I like light as opposed to extra virgin oh, okay. in salads. Ratio, generally two parts oil to one part vinegar. I found a little bit of this yummy red pepper jelly. I thought it might add a little, yeah, a little spice, a little yep. spicy kick to it. Yep. Okay. yep. So a little red pepper jelly. A little aged balsamic. Look, it's like syrup. Yeah. Wow. That's the good balsamic. That's the good stuff, yeah, well. I use it all. I know, I know. Yeah. You, you, you. <laughs> Normally, most people wouldn't be allowed to use this. But I figured you'd let me. Absolutely. So there we go. Can you get a shot of that, Bob? So we're just going to whip this up. Watch those nuts. No, don't you worry. You watch your own nuts, pal. <laughs> hey, this is a G-rated show. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with nuts? <laughs> yes. Just going to get edited out. If you want to make every, uh, yeah, let's make every, every, every 11-year-old kid in a, in a, that's watching this can now laugh. <laughs> he said nuts. <laughs> okay. So we'll do a little taste test. Mm 